name is Vibha Sharma and my topic is the logistic map. What's the connection between a population of rabbits, the Mandel broad set, dripping tap, thermal convection in a fluid, and the firing of neurons in your brain? It's this one simple equation, the logistic map, and this equation will change how you see the world. The logistic map is a polynomial mapping equivalently reoccurrence relation of degree two, or in simple words, I can say that it is a polynomial function between two mathematical objects. It is an example of how the complex chaotic behavior can arise from very simple nonlinear dynamic equations. In 1976, the biologist Robert May wrote a paper, Simple Mathematical Models with Very Complicated Dynamics. And this model was analogous to the logistic equation first created by Pere Francis. Moving on to the equation, which is xn plus 1 is equals to rxn 1 minus xn, where xn is a percentage of theoretical maximum. So it is a number between 0 and 1. And r is the rate whose values of interest lies in the interval 0 to 4. Now, to explain the logistic map, I'm going to consider an example of population of rabbits. If I have X rabbits this year, how many rabbits will I have the next year? Well, the simplest model that I can imagine is where we just multiplied the population X by some number, the growth rate R, that is uh, Rx, and this would mean the number of rabbits would grow exponentially forever. So I can add the term 1 minus x. I can add a term 1 minus x to represent the constraints of the environment. And as x approaches the maximum, then this term 1 minus xn goes to 0. And that constrains the population. So this is a logistic map. And xn plus 1 is a population this uh, is the population next year and xn is the population this year so now let's discuss the characteristics of the map let's see the variation of xn with time for parameter r values ranging from 0 0.5 to 3.5 and this is the combined graph which i'm going to explain one by one now with r between 0 and 1 population will eventually die independent of the initial population with r between 1 and 2 the population will quickly approach an equilibrium value independent of the initial population as you can see over here it approaches an equilibrium value here also it approaches an equilibrium value and similarly over here With R between 2 and 3, the population will also eventually uh, approach the equilibrium value, but will fluctuate around the equilibrium value for some time. So here it is fluctuating about this equilibrium value. With R between 3 and 3.449, for almost all the initial conditions, the population will approach permanent oscillations between two values, as you can see from the graph. With R between 3.449 and 3.544 approximately for almost all the initial conditions, the population will approach permanent oscillations among four values, one, two, three, and four. As you can see over here, these are the four values. Now let's, uh, uh, these are the points I have just explained. Uh, this is I'm going to explain later on. And this is the Python program which I have used to plot all the graphs that I have shown earlier. This is not of our interest over here. So now let's now let's discuss the bifurcation diagram. The horizontal axis shows the possible values for the parameter R, while the vertical axis shows the equilibrium value of X. And in the next clip, I'm going to show the bifurcation diagram. Okay, now I'm going to explain this. Like 
like we saw earlier that for r less than 3 x always finds a single stable point you can also see over here for r here this is growth rate r here this is equilibrium population here for r less than 3 x always finds a single stable point for r between 3.1 and 3.5 it oscillates between two points and then x starts oscillating between four points and then very quickly to eight points and even further you can't see over here but uh, r is x is oscillating between 16 points and after that it's just chaos a rough description of chaos is that chaotic systems exhibit a great sensitivity to the initial conditions which is the property of the logistic map for most values between 3.57 and 4 its value becomes completely unpredictable and the value that x takes is actually used in a lot of uh, pseudo random numbers generators because it's just so unpredictable so you might expect the equation to be chaotic from here onwards but as r increases order returns they there are these uh, windows of stable periodic behavior amid the chaos for example at r is equals to 3.83 there is a stable cycle with a period of 3 years the 1 sorry 1 2 and 3 for r is equals to 3.83 there is a stable cycle with a period of 3 years and as r continues to increase it will split into 6 12 24 and so on before returning to chaos it's again chaos then in fact this one equation contains periods of every length whatever you like if you just have the right value of r these i've just explained now there was a physicist michel feigenbaum who was looking at when the bifurcations occur he divided the width of each bifurcation section by the next one and found that the ratio is close to this number 4.669 and so on which is now called the feigenbaum's constant the bifurcations come faster and faster but in a ratio that approaches this fixed value and no one knows where this constant comes from it doesn't seem to relate to any other physical constant so it is itself a fundamental constant of nature it doesn't have to be the particular form of equation that i showed you earlier any equation that has a single quadratic maximum if you iterate it the way that we have again and again you will also see bifurcations not only that but the ratio of when these bifurcations occur will have the same scaling 4.669 the second feigenbaum constant is the ratio of the width of a sharp point and the width of its sub sharp points and this is denoted by a uh, alpha and its value is 2.502907 and so on so it's referred to as universality because there seems to be something fundamental and very universal about this type of equation thank you so much